Okay, we emptied some memory from the phone and we got some cylinders to show you. I'm going to take a look right here. Well, here's a piston. You can evaluate that piston for quality. See if that's any good. It's got a it's got a little dome to it. All right. Now, I guess I've gotten addicted at looking in the inside of cylinders ever since these guys stole these chainsaws from me and did a re bogus review. And I, I said that there was something fishy going on with how they got those chainsaws. Turns out they stole them from me. I kind of took took me a while to figure it all out, but it's a story on the channel. Uh, so I still don't know much about cylinders, except for, you know, they got to get chamfered and everything. But damn, these are some clean cylinders. You can't get a nicer cylinder than this. I'm starting to believe. Now, it's not an ochre cylinder. It comes from what I call my, my very good factory, but they don't have a cylinder foundry. They don't have their own cylinder foundry, but they get good quality cylinders. So they know what quality is. And um, let me see, that's a 58 cc. Here's a 60 cc cylinder for these Komatsu designed saws. Komatsu Zenoa clone saws. They're very, very effective. I would suggest being, get a tree crew getting their hands on a half dozen of these damn saws and just using them and using them and using them. And then you don't have to buy 391s or anything smaller. Matter of fact, i just get you some top handle saws and some Zenoa clones and a couple 660s and maybe an 880 or an 070 and that's everything you need. I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand people's mentalities being afraid of these giant chainsaws there's one guy on the channel i think david thorpe or something and david thorpe swears by these he's been using them six years every day he loves them and i love them too they're amazing they're absolutely amazing like subscribe share thumbs up take care bye